before joining IBR, I knew one thing. I wanted to tell a story. I wanted my art to speak to people's souls and touch their hearts. So when deciding a theme for all my pieces throughout the course, I thought of emotions. There are so many emotions that we humans feel, and I explored many of these in my first year. But in my second year, I thought to focus on something more intangible than these already abstract concepts. I wanted to focus on the inner and true emotions, the feelings that are never shown outwardly but do exist. Emotions are more than simply happiness or sadness. It's being overwhelmed, vulnerable, isolated, hopeful, and fearful. Oftentimes, these emotions are a big part of who we are, and yet confronting these emotions are difficult. It's this complexity that I wanted to portray. In my mind, the human experience isn't just about who we are to others, it's about who we are within. And unraveling our inner emotions can provide insight on our identities. To start with this big and grand theme, I looked at my own experiences. I have felt struggle, triumph, overwhelming anxiety, and rejection. But I did not know how I wanted to portray them. So I looked to the art of Kwang Ho Shin, Jenny Saville, and Ruby Smedley. The way how Shin depicted identity without actually showing the subject's faces, or how Saville depicted vulnerability through her figures and colors. Smedley also inspired me to use a sketchy appearance for my art to ground my audience to the reality of the emotions they are seeing. I find myself being interested in emotional pieces, not because they look appealing, but because of how many ways the artist can tell a very overheard story, and I will still feel a connection. I know many people have seen artworks that touch on anxiety or depression, but my goal for this exhibition is to portray that and still make the audience feel invested. The end result is a mixture of feeling these complex emotions and dealing with them. I didn't want to just show the negative sides of our inner selves, but rather a holistic experience. Two of the sculptures I've made portray the feeling of being unheard and show how one can discreetly break down. I brought these concepts in 3D form because I thought that these were ideas people avoid and hopefully by seeing it as three-dimensional, I could help people face them. Of course, I want the same effect with my paintings as well. Some of these are intentionally made to make people feel uncomfortable because of the emotion behind them. I've depicted the feeling of being left behind while others keep moving forward. I've shown tension and vulnerability, and I have depicted what it feels like to have overwhelming anxiety. There are more to show, but I would want people to see and experience my ideas for themselves. I am known as a lot of things, but these pieces reveal more than just that. I hope my art helped others face part of their identity as well, as I intended them to do so. My time in IB art helped me face my own inner emotion of hesitation to pursue art. And I feel like this course and the people around me gave me the courage to consider it. For that, I would like to sincerely thank all my friends who cheered on me, who cheered me on while I was making these works, Dr. Esam for accepting me in the program, my parents for supporting me through my artistic endeavors, my brother for posing as my reference even in late nights, Isha for helping me behind the scenes and being a fellow amazing artist, and last but never least, Miss Sarah for guiding me through the whole course. Without her, I do not think I would have learned and done as much as I have, and I give her all my gratitude for helping me create beautiful art and see beautiful art. Thank you to everyone who supported the art students, and I hope you enjoy our exhibitions.
To begin with, I would like to thank Mrs. Nasser, Dr. Reem, and Dr. Islam for giving me the opportunity to present my art pieces in spite of the current circumstances. Secondly, I would also like to thank uh, Ms. Sarah for, help for helping me improve my artistic skills and being supportive in the past two years. I wouldn't have been able to make the pieces that I did if it weren't for her. Lastly, I would like to thank my family for always believing in me and pushing me to do my best. My body of work is about the relationship between humans and the natural world. I have explored various concepts in this narrative such as pollution, the passage of time, decay, impermanence, cycles of life, mother nature, death and growth. I have explored symbolism in the human form mixed with organic forms, exploring the surreal qualities and concepts of man versus nature and impacts on our own environment. All life has value. I explore the dichotomy of new life and life ending, as in the circle of life and the balance of natural law. Human beings and their relationship to the natural world is an important theme for today's world where we are experiencing deforestation and industrialization and often become detached from the natural world. My pieces show the importance of appreciating the natural world and portray the human form encapsulated in nature to explore the links of life in the natural world and that of human beings. Christopher David White explores the relationship between humanity and nature in flux between growth and decay. This concept, his use of ceramics as human forms and taking on organic textures and shapes has been highly influential in my work. In my piece, Roots, the female ceramic bust is peaceful in expression with a wooden texture and roots and a tree branch growing which is meant to symbolize thoughts growing and our ever-changing, ever-moving mind reflecting how organic forms are also ever-changing. In Seasons, I explore the life cycle of people as they age alongside seasons in nature. This four-part series shows a woman from baby to old woman along with seasonal trees and colors in relief, showing the link and passage of time to the natural world. Techniques I had considered both 2D and 3D ceramic forms, developing my skills using molds for the faces and applying texture and molding forms. In my three paintings, I have explored surrealistic morphing elements which are emulated in my sculptures. A key influencing artist in, in my paintings was Moki, a German-based artist who illustrates humans entwined in nature. I use that idea for my paintings, which are all self-portraits. Mother Nature is about our role in protecting the environment we live in and the symbolism of nature being a woman life giver, showing us new life in the nest with her form and hair morphing into the trees. Below this are my paintings Lay Me Down to Sleep, exploring sleep and how our final slumber death comes to take us away wrapped in the blanket of nature. Shrouded shows a self-portrait covered in flowers and like a shrine covering one's face in beautiful flowers surrounded by nature shows reference bowed in prayer to the natural world. All were painted in an expressive realism style. My bust illustrates plastic bottles organized into the shape of a woman's torso showing whirling ocean patterns with plastic bottles stuck in them. This depicts how we can negatively impact our natural world. To the right, we see my second ceramic bust sculpture showing the rose and vines pulling the woman down, showing the agony of Mother Nature, which is caused by the humanity. This piece yet again conveys the negative impact of humans on nature. The sculpture series in four pieces is about decay and progression of decay over time. We see the human face becoming overgrown and disappearing into the wooden texture, showing how our bodies will return to this earth. The hand sculpture, The Hands of Time, shows birth, growth, decay, death in four hands. The audience can spin this piece on the wheel showing time is ever moving and you can never know when you will land or where. I have organized my work on white boards and plinths to clearly show the textures and colors. I have placed my work sequentially separating paintings by sculptures either side and I have considered spacing and size balance making sure large sculptures have their own space and the faces are propped up sequentially as they are a series. The audience first views Roots, my first piece, and the Hands of Time, my last one. 
the audience can interact with the leaves and um, it leaves them with an impact. Overall, it was a very fun experience in IB Visual Art HL and I highly recommend the younger generations to join IB Diploma Program. Thank you.